Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode Episode Number 10. This is WWE Main Event, and it is our final pit stop on the road to Backlash coming up on April the 11th. It is a huge card coming up at the first ever Universe Mode pay-per-view here for us, but we get an early preview of one of those matchups here tonight. Mustafa Ali, who looks to settle the score with Seth Rollins and Murphy on pay-per-view, first gets a little preview as he goes one-on-one -on -one with one of his old rivals, Murphy. These two have had a lot of classics in that ring. Back in their cruiserweight days, they're going to look to reignite that flame right here tonight on WWE Main Event. It's going to be a great night of action, folks. It is our final pit stop before our first Universe Mode pay-per-view backlash. I cannot wait for that event. A live premiere on April the 11th. Eight matches announced. We're going to run down the full card for you later tonight. But right here, right now, here comes the Intercontinental Champion's number one contender, Sheamus. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! It was a couple of weeks ago here on WWE Main Event that Sheamus took on Samoa Joe, right in that very ring, for the right to challenge Shinsuke Nakamura for the Intercontinental Championship in the future. Sheamus, of course, walking out with that right and has earned that shot, and he will face the Intercontinental Champion Shinsuke Nakamura at the pay-per-view at Backlash for the Intercontinental Gold on the line. And Sheamus definitely building some momentum in recent weeks as he defeated alongside Jinder Mahal, Finn Balor, and Shinsuke Nakamura a few weeks back on main event as well. So Sheamus definitely already building momentum, looking to build some more tonight. But no easy task in front of him as he's going one-on-one -on -one with the Swiss Superman, Cesaro. Somebody who's definitely going to be looking to get a big W in his column right here tonight on WWE Main Event. A win for tonight for Cesaro could put him him in line for a future championship from opportunity. Lucerne, Switzerland, weighing in at 232 pounds, Cesaro. As we were saying, if Cesaro can get the victory here tonight, you gotta imagine Cesaro puts his name in the hat as next up to fight the Intercontinental Champion, whether that's Sheamus or Shinsuke Nakamura, after Backlash. But this should be a great match here on WWE Main Event tonight. Cesaro and Sheamus kicking off what is going to be a great night of action in that very ring. But as we mentioned, coming up at our first Universe Mode pay-per-view, the collision is on. Intercontinental Championship, Shinsuke Nakamura defends against the Celtic Warrior and number one contender, Sheamus. By the way, Sheamus getting in the ring. We're kicking things off before Cesaro can even get his jacket off here. The bell has sounded, and we are under array. Sheamus looked like he was going to try to sneak up on Cesaro, but Cesaro is ready. Sheamus got a cheap shot in, but these two are going at it. No waste in motion, no rest for the weary. Cesaro and Sheamus kicking us off here tonight. As we mentioned, Mustafa Ali, he'll be teaming up with a partner of his choosing, a mystery tag team partner against Seth Rollins and his disciple Murphy at Backlash. We're going to get a little preview of that in our main event tonight. When Murphy goes one-on-one -on -one with Mustafa Ali, two men that have had a lot of history back in their days in the cruiserweight division. But as for right here, right now, Cesaro is still yet to take his jacket off here. He's just got to worry about the Celtic Warrior in front of him. We got this opening matchup. Two guys who know each other very well. Former tag team partners a few years ago. Several tag team reigns. They were a great tag team here in the WWE where Cesaro and Sheamus as the bar. Multiple tag team title reigns as we mentioned. That is years gone, and now they are on their separate ends and on separate paths in their career. Sheamus with a championship opportunity looming in front of him. And a few weeks ago, Cesaro, you remember he went one-on-one -on -one with Drew McIntyre in the first round of the number one contenders tournament for the WWE Championship. On that night, of course, Drew McIntyre did advance, and Cesaro was knocked out in the first round. So Cesaro, this is his first time in action since that matchup. Definitely going to be looking to get some momentum back on his side here tonight. And again, as we mentioned, with Sheamus in line to fight the Intercontinental Champion Nakamura at Backlash, whether it's Nakamura retaining or Sheamus walking out the new champion, a win tonight for Cesaro has definitely got to put him in the top contention ranks. 
And what a test that would be for both men. Coming out of Backlash, no matter who the Intercontinental Champion is, if you got the Swiss Superman awaiting you. As we get to the ring, I should say get into the action inside the ring at the current moment. Sheamus in control of this matchup. A little bit of grounded pound on Cesaro. Just beaten down on his former tag team champion. Former tag team partner, I should say. Sheamus does not want to lose this match tonight. We talked about his momentum recently. He earned the right to be the number one contender when he defeated Samoa Joe. It was a great matchup a couple of weeks back. In our first episode of Main Event, two went one-on-one, -on -one, two bulls going at it in that ring. It was an awesome match. Sheamus getting the win there. And then recently on Main Event as well, we saw Sheamus team up with Jinder Mahal to take on Finn Balor as well as the Intercontinental Champion Shinsuke Nakamura. And Sheamus that night absolutely just ruling the ring. Bro kick to Nakamura and a bro kick to Finn Balor. Got the win for Sheamus and Finn, or excuse me, Sheamus and Jinder Mahal. So Sheamus has been in the winning ways as of late. He's looking to continue that here tonight. Sheamus comes off the top with a knee right down to Cesaro. Big time move there from the Celtic Warrior. He goes for the cover. Cesaro down and out. Cesaro able to power out of that. Cesaro one of the strongest pound for pound competitors in the ring. Just hasn't been able to get a lot of big W's in his career. That's what Cesaro is truly searching for each and every time he is in that, in that ring. It's just the win that's going to push him over the top. And that could be tonight. It's all about building momentum. We talk a lot about how wins and losses matter around these parts when it comes to getting opportunities, championship opportunities in that ring. So every win gets, gets you a little closer from a, what, a championship opportunity in that ring. Cesaro working over Sheamus here on the outside of the ring. He just dropped him on the apron moments ago. Swiss Superman big, picks the big man up. Yes, Cesaro is unloading a little bit here. Maybe a little feeling a little bit urgent. He saw Sheamus was controlling the last few minutes, and now Cesaro is trying to take over on the outside here. Use his strength and speed over the Celtic Warrior, sending him across the ring apron. Excuse me, a ringside. Cesaro looked to catch his breath. He's heads to the outside, but Sheamus is going to head into the ring. Trying to play dip and dodge with Cesaro, and it pays dividends. Nice right hand, and follows it up with a knee. Sheamus in control here. You know the Intercontinental Champion Shinsuke Nakamura is definitely going to have his eyes on this contest. Trying to take a closer look at the man he will fight on pay-per-view. Sheamus has never been the Intercontinental Champion before. You know he's looking to get the last championship he needs to become a Grand Slam winner here in the WWE. He's won it all. World Championship, WWE Championship, United States Championship, Tag Team Championship. He's won the Royal Rumble. He's won Money in the Bank. He's been at WrestleMania. Big wins there. All he's looking for is the Intercontinental Championship. But right now, Cesaro is looking to take all the momentum out of Sheamus' quarter. Oh, nice counter by Sheamus. I like what you see there in the Celtic Warrior. Oh, he grabs Cesaro. He could be looking for that Celtic cross. He's got him up. Cesaro's in a predicament. Sends him down to the map below. Celtic cross. Down goes Cesaro. Sheamus in control of this contest. And the number one contender is scouting. Look at this. Backbreaker. And I think we know what's coming. Bro, kick. He nails it. He hits it flush. It was a great effort by Cesaro, but I don't see anybody kicking out of that right now. Sheamus is on an absolute roll, and he gets another victory here tonight. The number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship week after week, continuing to build momentum. And with the final stop here, to, here tonight, before Backlash, Cesaro falls short against Sheamus, and Sheamus picking up one more victory to prove that he is absolutely on the top of his game right now. I don't know who is going to be able to take down take down Sheamus. Shinsuke Nakamura may be in trouble come the pay-per-view. Here is your winner, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! Are we looking at the next Intercontinental Champion? We will find out on April 11th. But it's time to roll on here on WWE Main Event. Still to come, we have Mustafa Ali taking on Murphy. 
But right now, we got a little bit of women's division tag team action with four women, I am sure, are looking to climb the ranks here in the WWE Women's Division. Your first combat. contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Dallas, Texas, Ember Moon. Ember Moon will be teaming up with her old friend from NXT, Shotzi tonight. Former NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, Shotzi we've seen recently here on Main Event and Raw. And some great matchups against the WWE Women's Champion, Bianca Blair, but Ember Moon herself is looking to build some momentum in the women's division. As we know, coming up at Backlash, it's going to be Bianca Belair defending the WWE Women's Championship against Sasha Banks, which should be a hell of an anticipated rematch, I should say, from WrestleMania 37 last year. I cannot wait to see that match and see those two women go at it on pay-per-view. Here comes Ember Moon's tag team partner, Shotzi. A woman we've seen a lot of here recently. She has impressed greatly. See if she can pick up her win tonight. From Oakland, California, Shotzi. So two times recently here, we have seen Shotzi take on Bianca Belair in that ring. First time on Monday Night Raw, she put up such a great effort in losing defeat. The management gave her another shot against the WWE Women's Champion Bianca Belair a few weeks back here on Main Event with the stakes that if Shotzi picked up the win in that match, she would become the number one contender for the Women's Championship. Unfortunately for her, Bianca Belair walked out with the victory. So Shotzi back at the line of this point. But now teaming with Ember Moon tonight, the two women, the former NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, are going to get momentum on their side tonight in tag team action, but could definitely aid in singles action as well. But here comes one of their opponents. From Richmond, Virginia, Mickey. She is one of the most decorated women's champions in WWE history. Now making her way down to the ring to participate in this tag team matchup. It'll be very interesting to see who pulls off the win in this match. It's all about building momentum. Especially when it comes to after backlash and who is going to be the last woman standing between Sasha Banks and Bianca Blair. Whoever walks out as the women's champion is definitely going to be looking for their next challenger. And it could be. One of these four women that we are going to see right here. It's Ember Moon and Shotzi versus Mickey James and this woman, a decorated champion herself, Bailey. And her partner from San Jose, California, Bailey. Last time we saw Bailey was here on main event in a one on one match versus Candice Lorre. It was a great contest. Candice putting up, putting up a hell of a fight. Where Bailey was controlling a lot of the matchup, but in the end, Candice was able to knock off Bailey with the submission hold, tapping her out in the middle of the ring. That was the last time we saw Bailey in there, so she is obviously going to be looking to bounce back after that loss. Who I'm, I'm sure in her case, finds absolutely humiliating since she tapped out. And here we go. It is time for tag team action, right here, right now on main event. Our final pit stop before Backlash, Ember and Shotzi versus Mickey and Bailey. Let's get things underway here tonight. Already tonight, as you saw Sheamus moments ago, picking up the win against Cesaro, building some last minute momentum towards his Intercontinental Championship matchup versus the champion Shinsuke Nakamura at Backlash. Still to come tonight, Mustafa Ali, who will team up with a mystery partner at Backlash, will take on Murphy, who will team up with Seth Rollins at the pay-per-view. As we mentioned, Bianca Blair will defend the WWE Women's Championship in a long-awaited rematch against Sasha Banks, who earned that right last week here on Main Event in that triple threat matchup. It was a great contest between Sasha, Rhea Ripley, and Candice LeRae. In the end, Sasha tapping out Candice LeRae to the bank statement and booking her ticket towards the Backlash pay-per-view. All those matches and so much more. The Cruiserweight Championship will be decided on pay-per-view. A six-man, six-pack challenge, elimination contest. Mansoor, Santos Escobar, Grand Metalik, Ricochet, Isaiah Swerve Scott, and Rey Mysterio all going to battle it out for the vacant Cruiserweight title. A 
Apollo Crews issuing an open challenge after another loss this past Monday night on Raw. We've seen him in the losing column as of late. He wants to bounce back, bounce back huge, excuse me, on pay-per-view. He's issuing that open challenge. Can't wait to see who accepts that. The World Tag Team Championships will be on the line. Randy Orton and Riddle, RK Bro, looking to get their championships back against the two men that defeated them for the titles on our first episode of Universe Mode on Monday Night Raw. Eric and I are the Viking Raiders. Rematch weeks in the making. I can't wait to see those two teams go at it once more in the ring. Finn Balor and Jeff Hardy, things have gotten heated between them over the last few weeks. They're going to have themselves a little bit of a grudge match on pay-per-view. And then of course, the WWE Championship is going to be on the line in the main event of the pay-per-view backlash. The man who outlasted seven others in the number one contenders tournament, AJ Styles, the phenomenal one himself, will take on the WWE Champion, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Those two men will go one-on-one -on -one for the WWE Championship. Backlash is going to be a great event. It will be a live premiere over on the Noah Nation YouTube channel. As of now, this will be the final Universe Mode episode taking place on this Noah Nation gaming channel. Our main channel is where everything will be moving uh, going forward from Backlash on. More information about that in the description box below. A direct link to send you where Universe Mode will be heading after this episode here tonight. It's going to be a great, great show on April 11th live premiere. I hope to see you all there. We're going to talk more about it in just a little bit, but let's focus on the tag team match at hand. It's Ember Moon and Bailey, our two legal women. Bailey's already tagged out a couple of times in this match. Mickey James has been in the majority thus far. Nice suplex over Ember Moon. Look to build momentum. Sends her into the corner. Look at this. Once again, Bailey's tagging out. It's always as if Bailey isn't interested in this tag team matchup, especially with somebody who's not a usual tag team partner for her and Mickey James. We talked about how Ember Moon and Shotzi familiar with themselves in the ring. Down in NXT, they were the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions at one point. Now both back here on the main roster. Shotzi coming off those two great matches against Bianca Blair, unfortunately, and losing defeat. Ember after those two knees. Go for the cover on Mickey James, but Mickey gets the shoulder up. But all four of these women absolutely going to be looking to make a name for themselves tonight. No matter who walks out of the pay-per-view. Oh, well, oh, crash and burn for Ember Moon. She went for that drop kick. Makes it sidestep. Their tags in Bailey. But as we mentioned, no matter who walks out of the pay-per-view as the women's champion, whether it's Bianca Blair or Sasha Banks, a new number one contender is going to be needed. And it could be one of these four women right here. As Bailey once again tagging out Mickey James. Bailey clearly is just not interested in this tag team matchup tonight. Not her forte. Especially with somebody, as we mentioned, an unusual tag team partner for her. Mickey James, I mean, she's been in the majority of the matchup. She hasn't got much time to rest. She could be tired here. Shotzi unloaded on her a bit. Look at that. A couple of maneuvers in the corner. And now Shotzi's going to the top rope. She's piecing together a couple of maneuvers here. Hits the splash. That could be all. End of the cover. Mickey James gets the shoulder up at two. A little bit early there for... A veteran like Mickey James to get put down, but that was some great offense from Saucy. She's really impressing as of the last few weeks. I mean, she came so close from defeating the women's champion, Bianca Blair. She was almost the one before there was ever a number one contenders matchup to face Bianca at Backlash. Oh, Bailey breaks it up. Well, Bailey's interested in winning the matchup, but it just looks like she doesn't want to be the one to do the work. Back to our feet now. Mickey James going to try to fight back in this essential handicap match thus far. Lash goes under. Veteran move from Mickey James. A nice snap to the neck right there. For Mickey James, a woman who has been the women's champion, Divas champion in her career. Women's champions elsewhere outside of WWE. I'm sure she would love to fight the winner of Bianca versus Sasha Banks for the women's title. And she goes to the top. Look at this. Hurricane Rana Bailey actually put into some effort for the first time in this matchup. Catches her with the powerbomb and immediately tags in Mickey James. Bailey has absolutely no interest in this matchup, but lucky for her, Mickey James is still fighting. That could have been a knockout blow. I'm surprised Mickey didn't go for the cover there. Instead, fouls it up with a drop kick. Shotzi may be in deep trouble. Mickey James is still fighting for her team, regardless of how Bailey feels about being in this contest. This sends her out of the corner. Mickey. 
Oh, look, this is his classic Mickey James. Hurricane Rana. Shotzi goes down. Shotzi tried crawling for the tag, but Mickey breaks it at the last second. And Shotzi with the counter. We got a collar and elbow here. Mickey just grabbed her, ragdolling her a little bit here. Over the top rope. Oh, but Shotzi sends her over. And there's the tag from Ember Moon. Mickey got sent to the outside just enough time for Shotzi to be able to, to tag out there. Mickey back in. It's Ember Moon, look at that. Clotheslines are right over the top rope. Ember Moon is feeling it here. She's a former NXT Tag Team Champion with Shotzi, but she's also a former NXT Women's Champion. She can get it done in singles action as well as she comes with that drop kick in the ring, out of the ring, goes Ember Moon. Great tag team match we got ourselves here tonight on main event. We still have Mustafa Ali versus Murphy to come. Those two men got a lot of history with each other as we're going to talk about. And they are in that squared circle in just a moment. But we still got Ember Moon and Shotzi versus Mickey James. And technically Bailey here, even though Bailey has shown zero interest in participating in this contest. Nice Irish whip there since the veteran Ember Moon. Nice pump kick. Mickey James could be in trouble. Shotzi and Ember have really been feeling it these last few minutes. Ember piecing together a couple of kicks. Great offense there. She's headed up to the top rope now. She could be looking for the Eclipse. Mickey James is trying to get to her feet. She may just be a little dazed to confuse. Ember nails it. Ember Moon with the Eclipse on Mickey James. There's the cover. You can probably count to 20. And that is it. Maybe if Bailey would have put some effort in this matchup, she wouldn't be on the losing end. That's back-to-back -back losses for her here on main event. But nonetheless, Shotzi and Ember impressing here tonight. Ember Moon and Shotzi picking up a big-time victory here tonight on WWE main event. Definitely got to keep her eye on those two women. Great tag team matchup here. I can't wait for Belair versus Banks for the Women's Championship at Backlash. It is time for your main event. Our final stop inside that squared circle. For the Backlash pay-per-view, Mustafa Ali making his way to the ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa you know, you notice Mustafa Ali rock a little bit of a throwback gear tonight. We've seen the change of heart recently. It's been all about Mustafa Ali trying to get his career back on track. And that's where this whole thing started against Seth Rollins in that number one contenders tournament in the first round a couple of weeks ago when Mustafa Ali knocked off Seth Rollins. And ever since then, Rollins has had a bit of an issue with Ali. Hence the reason we are getting that tag team matchup at Backlash. I'm very interested to see who Mustafa Ali is going to choose as his mystery tag team partner. I wish we were finding out tonight, but we're going to have to wait until April 11th to see who will be standing by side of Mustafa Ali versus these two men, the Messiah Seth Rollins, as well as his disciple, Murphy. And there may be Seth Rollins standing front and center tonight, but it's Murphy who's going to be competing in that ring versus his old foe, his old rival, that being Mustafa Ali. Nonetheless, should be a great main event here tonight. And his opponent, accompanied by Seth Rollins from Melbourne, Australia, weighing in at 213 pounds, Murphy! Rollins and Murphy making their way to the ring. As we mentioned, this all started back a few weeks ago in the number one contenders tournament in the first round. It was Mustafa Ali versus Seth Rollins. Ali took the fight to Rollins from the get-go. And even with Buddy Murphy at ringside, Mustafa Ali was able to knock off Seth Rollins in an impressive victory. Then we moved to the following week, where Mustafa Ali took on Drew McIntyre in the semifinals. Seth Rollins aided distraction, making sure his music played, taking Ali's eye off the ball for just enough and later on in the matchup, it was Drew McIntyre who defeated Mustafa Ali. 
Last week here on Main Event, we saw Seth Rollins pick up the victory over John Morrison. And we talked about how Rollins was definitely trying to send a message to Ali. As after he distracted him in that semi-final matchup, we knew this whole situation just wasn't over yet. We're going to get a little preview of Backlash. We're going to get a little throwback to their Cruiserweight Division days. As it is time for your main event, the Disciple Murphy with Seth Rollins in his corner versus Mustafa Ali. The bell has rung and we are underway here with our final matchup before the Backlash pay-per-view. And things are looking a little uneven for Ali tonight, but he will have the choice of whoever he may please to stand by his side and be in his corner in that tag team matchup on Sunday. As we mentioned, these two with a ton of history outside of Ali and Rollins' recent business. Murphy and Ali know each other very well. They've had several classics back in their Cruiserweight days on 205 Live, including a no-holds-barred matchup. That was just absolutely one of the best matches of that year. So Lee definitely going to be looking to build some momentum for himself tonight. He may be on his own, but a win here tonight can definitely send a message to the man watching at ringside, the Messiah Seth Rollins, who clearly has a thorn in his side at the current moment. With his name being Mustafa Lee, as Murphy comes to the top rope. We talked about some of their previous cruiserweight action. Murphy saw an opportunity to go high risk. And it paid off with a high reward, that big time splash down the map below. And Murphy unloading on Ali here. Ali could be in trouble. We are very early on in this matchup but after such a big time maneuver from Ali. You gotta be wondering how Mustafa Ali's gonna bounce back. Murphy sending Ali into the corner. I'm sure Rollins at ringside is just loving what he sees out of his disciple. Look at this, gut wrench. Sits out with it into the power bomb. Ali, or should be Buddy Murphy, is such a complete package in that ring. He's got the size, he's got the strength, but he also, also has the speed and agility. You gotta watch Buddy Murphy in that ring, man. He can hit you from anywhere and hit you with just about anything. Ali, on the other hand, not only has he got the speed, he's got the agility, he's also got the creativity in that ring, like moves like that, which usually connects that senton bomb. Murphy able to get the knees up, however, that time. Ali trying to fight in. He's not want to fall too behind in this matchup, especially with Seth Rollins looking on. It would not go well for Ali in terms of momentum building come Sunday. Ali going into the cover. Excuse me, Mur Murphy going into the cover on Ali. Murphy getting the shoulder up. Ali, nice drop toe hold there. He's trying to fight back. Murphy's had a big control for most of this matchup. A couple of big time maneuvers he pinned together. That's Ali looking for. Look at this springboard. Tornado DDT for Mustafa Ali. It's a move we've seen a lot out of Ali in those matches against Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre that we talked about. Something that has paid Ali dividends in the past. He's going up to the top rope. Murphy's just a little bit dazed. Hits the missile drop kick and he nails it. Absolutely hits it. Flush right on the button. And I'll, look at that, continuing the offense, nice knee right to the arm. A little bit of everything out of Ali here as he is just unloading on every body part that he can of Buddy Murphy. Ali going to the top rope here. And Rollins, look at that, Rollins just having to force look on. Ali hits the splash! Just like Murphy hit him with one earlier. That time it was on the outside, but this time from Mustafa Ali. Oh, he could be going for another one here as he hits this one big time super flash splash. He could be going for volume two. He hits it again. Back to back splashes from Ali. He's going back up to that tie. He is clearly looking to send a big time message to Seth Rollins at ringside. Three in a row. You know Murphy's ribs are feeling it after that. Three splashes in a row right in front of Seth Rollins. Ali now hits the neck breaker, takes Murphy right back to where he was on the map below. Now he's going back up again. Is he going to hit? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, 5 4 for Mustafa Ali. Into the cover. And that, oh, no. Murphy barely gets the shoulder up. I mean, after. A couple of those splashes and then the 054. I could have sworn Mustafa Ali had that victory. He goes back up and he hits him with a splash number four. 
four splashes. The 054, he's going back up once again. This time, 450 splash. Striking offense from Mustafa Ali, and it pays him well as he gets the victory over Buddy Murphy here tonight. Sending an emphatic message, a big time statement from Mustafa Ali as he looks on to this matchup on April the 11th. Mustafa Ali and a mystery tag team partner of his choosing will look to settle the score once and for all against Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy on pay-per-view. But also coming up at Backlash, these two have been heated rivals over the last few weeks. They're looking to settle their score themselves. Jeff Hardy versus Finn Balor one-on-one -on -one at the Backlash pay-per-view event. Also coming up at that show, as we mentioned, Apollo Crews. He's suffered a couple of losses the last number of weeks. This past Monday night on Raw, he issued an open challenge, and it has been confirmed. Who is going to accept Apollo Crews' open challenge? Six men qualified, six men won to It's a six-pack challenge, elimination style for the Cruiserweight Championship. Mansoor, Santos Escobar, Grand Metal Ray Mysterio, Isaiah Swerve, Scott, and Ricochet. Who's going to be the last man standing and who will walk out with the vacant Cruiserweight Championship? Number one contender that we saw earlier tonight, the Celtic Warriors, Roland. And he's going to fight the Intercontinental Champion, Shinsuke Nakamura. Will be end still or end new for the very first time on April the 11th at Backlash. The World Tag Team Championships will be on the line. Eric and Ivar defeated RK Bro once before, but Randy Orton and Riddle are coming for the rematch. Will they win back the championship gold, or will the gold stay with the Viking Raiders? The WWE Women's Championship is on. Bianca Belair defends the title against her old rival Sasha Banks in a long-awaited WrestleMania 37 rematch. Who is going to walk out with the biggest prize in all of WWE for the women? And in our main event, the WWE Champion, Bobby Lashley defends against the number one contender and the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. He's earned the right to call himself the top contender. Will Bobby Lashley be able to withstand the phenomenal offense, or will the almighty error continue? WWE Backlash Universe Mode Episode 11 is coming your way April the 11th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. It is a live premiere. This event will take place over on the Noah Nation YouTube channel, which is linked down below. Thank you for joining us. It has been a great couple of weeks building up to Backlash, and I can't wait to see you all for the live premiere. We will see you April the 11th.